May 6, 1937, would have been a normal day at Lakehurst, New Jersey, except for the fact that that afternoon, the local airport was expecting a very special guest, the LZ-129 Hindenburg. This German passenger airship was filled with hydrogen, not the usual helium, which was in short supply thanks to the recent crash of the Akron, another hydrogen blimp. And this combination of factors would soon lead to disaster. But before we get into it, if you'd like to learn more about amazing history, stay tuned. It's 3.25 p.m., and the Hindenburg is approaching Lakehurst. For the next few minutes, everything goes according to plan. The airship passes over the nearby sea girt and begins its descent towards the mooring mast. But then, just as it reaches the ground crew, flames erupt near the tail of the ship, quickly spreading through the hydrogen gas cells. Ow. Within seconds, the entire rear of the ship is engulfed in flames. The most likely cause of the fire was an electrostatic spark, possibly St. Elmo's fire, igniting leaking hydrogen. But despite the ferocity of the blaze of the 97 people on board, only 35 died, plus one member of the ground crew. To put that in perspective, that fatality rate is far lower than the deadliest airship accident ever. The 1908 Slocum disaster, which killed 14 passengers and crew aboard the airship, that disaster led to new safety regulations, but those proved largely ineffective. Airships continued to be built and used for passenger transport, even as the dangers of hydrogen became increasingly clear. Back at Lakehurst, the flames spread quickly through the highly flammable gas, not the fabric or paint, as many had assumed, ripping open the ship's skin and lifting its nose. The Hindenburg then fell to the ground tail first, where it continued to burn for several more hours. In the aftermath, rumors of sabotage swirled, but these were soon ruled out, and the blame was put squarely on the shoulders of the highly flammable gas. In fact, studies have repeatedly confirmed that it was the gas, not the fabric or paint that made the fire so fast and devastating. As for the Hindenburg itself, the wreck was sold to a scrap dealer for $100, less than the value of the copper in its electrical wiring. The end of commercial hydrogen-filled airships had come just like that, overnight. The age of airplanes had begun. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. See you soon.